Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys a very interesting encounter I had with Naturalize. Naturalize is part of the cards that in the upcoming expansion, in the upcoming standard rotation, we'll be joining the Hall of Fame. Basically, what it means is Naturalize is just too busted to exist in the standard format, so they're kicking it to the curb, and, well, no more naturalizing in... Well, I guess Arena, I guess Hall of Fame is never in Arena anymore, and no more naturalizing in Standard. And this is a card that had people a little bit puzzled, they were thinking a little bit. So yeah, okay, I kind of get it. There's certainly a decent number of combos that feature naturalize, and that's certainly true. There are actually a bunch of other combos that Druids can pull off that kill your opponent, typically in one turn just fine, that don't require naturalize at all. And the core reason why they are taking Naturalize out of the out of standard set into the Hall of Fame is because it just goes very against what, you know, Druids typically do. Druids are not able to deal with big minions, and here comes this card, and not only features in many different combo decks and whatnot, but it does exactly that. It's instantaneous, crazy tempo in a class that typically lacks tempo in a very big way. That's its main weakness. And I think Blizzard is okay with cards like that existing from time to time. They just don't want them all the time. And I think the game that I played in Arena just a few days ago features exactly this reason. So check it out. Let me know what you think with a little bit of perspective. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Master Theory Crafter Kriparian never fails to provide chill streams and high skill gameplay. Kappa. I think you added the Kappa incorrectly. I think that was not part of the, uh, the message there. Thank you. I mean, that's, that's pretty accurate. Come on, it's pretty accurate. It is. It is, damn it. Bad night. Blood night. No. For me. Does dingo. Yes. I'll try this. I'll force him to trade. His turn three was really weak if you think about it. Oh god. That did not work out very well. I mean, it was his opportunity to push, push for board control and... He didn't really do anything. I'm kind of surprised. Pre-recorded, pre-recorded. I know, I know. Nerf. Well, you did give it to me. Tichaka Dujama, boys. It is pre-recorded. I know. It really feels like he has Savage Roar. I'm actually sleeping and making you guys watch me now. Yeah, not quite. Health is a resource, remember? It's just the resource we're tapping a lot, but you know. It's endless, right? Ok, 
game. No dragon. Just don't have like bone mare or something. Like, that would be such a disaster. Oh come on! I know what you're probably thinking, why not play a 3-drop? It's because of Savage Roar. I'm like a million percent sure he has Savage Roar. Well, I'm dead to Savage Roar. I need a Tar Lord or Execute. I'm not going to draw at all. I actually don't think he has Savage Roar, because Savage Roar is lethal last turn. Probably has Savage Roar in his deck, but... I don't think I need a Desperation draw, because if he had Savage Roar, he would have killed me last turn. Come on, execute. Oh, he just froze his board. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I thought he was playing pretty well up until then, and then that was, like, extremely bad. <laughs> extremely bad. No, I'm not dead. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. I'm fast and furious in your face. I just don't have many cards left. Like, right now I'm on pace to lose to fatigue. I have, like, no big minions left in my deck. Thank you. 
mean, I have a bomber in there, so I should probably save the weapon hit. I think. them to draw two pretty bad cards in a row and I'll win. Draw two damage or a taunt. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> That's a win, boys. That's a win. <laughs> 